I grew up only 30 minutes from Hillsdale College, and we would go and watch sporting events there. The mid to late 80s in Hillsdale was a very good time for the football team. I knew I wanted to play football at the collegiate level. Hillsdale was gracious enough to give me a scholarship to play and um, played all four years there. Really, football for me allowed me to come out of my shell. I was shy, quiet, not very confident. Football gave me confidence and it, it totally changed the, the game for me. From a long way back, my dad was a very hard worker. He passed that along to me. And then, you know, the football background, I think it all kind of plays together that I wasn't yeah. gonna give up. So then fast forward to my time at Welch. So they make packaging, we're not talking a few, you know, they're doing millions a day. An opportunity came up to be a general manager, which was the ultimate goal. Run a branch, run a facility. 27 years old, I come in to a operation of about 45 people. One guy, literally his nickname for me in the plant was Beaver Cleaver. You know, I just because I was so young, just a baby, that business was losing money. They needed a spark. And so I was gonna provide the spark. First thing I did is I worked alongside everyone there. I learned their jobs, I did the jobs. I remember moving out there and I was working endless hours a day. Chicago has its stresses just being in Chicago. You can't get trucks in and out of places, drive an hour and a half in a traffic jam to get to work, to deal with the stresses of work, and then you go home and you drive another hour and a half, you get home at eight, you don't have time to have dinner with your family, and so I was missing out. I was in the car or I was at work more than I was at home. That culminated in a lot of stress. One time in particular where I, the stress had gotten to me and I almost blacked out. I started to go out and I caught myself. And I started thinking, is it worth blacking out over? We're in Walmart, we come out, we sit down and I have an emotional breakdown to my wife. We were in the car together by ourselves without the kids and I thought he was just gonna say something and we were gonna get out of the car and we were gonna continue on our errand. And then I realized very quickly that he was struggling. I'm bawling and I'm just so emotional and I said, you know, I just feel trapped. I knew that work was stressful, but I didn't realize where he was emotionally. I just feel I can't, I can't uh, do this. You know, I, I was just talking to her and, and I and, uh, just had to unload that. And she had no idea, I would held it all inside. I just thought, oh my gosh, how do we get ourselves in this situation? None of this is worth it. In my gut, I had been stirring for about a year. I wanted to have my own business, something that I could call my own, something that I could build, a legacy. So I left Welch Packaging, and our plan was one year and one year to find a business to buy. The business that I own is a sporting goods company, Blazer Athletic Equipment. We make equipment for high schools and colleges. Our primary sport is track and field. My customers that I deal with are dealing with high school sports, high school athletes, and collegiate teams. I get to talk sports with them at trade shows and in meetings and couldn't imagine anything better. I didn't realize when I was there how important and how great Hillsdale was and Football gave me confidence. In that aggressive arena, you know, hung up the cleats, and can't I can't play anymore. 40, I'd, even if I tried, I'd be sore for a couple weeks or maybe hospitalized. So it switched from a football field to an office. Life is full of hard things. There's always adversity. There's always problems you're going to encounter. That drives me to be better myself. Drives me to make the company better. That competitive nature is what has given me the tools professionally. 
there's a set of rules, but at the end of the day, you're still trying to win. And I love to wake up and try to win.